let's talk about fashion now. Let's talk That's about what I'm models. Thinking about. Models. They've been <laughs> strutting around Manhattan for the past week. Tomorrow morning, the lights go up at Mercedes Benz Fashion Week, and hundreds of designers are hoping to get their clothes noticed in one of the toughest times for retail mm. in generations. Here with an inside scoop on what's in, what's out this season. Well, ahead of, of course, the shows is Bloomberg's Katya Kazakina, um, who covers fashion for us. So, Katya, what, what are we expecting? What's going to be sort of the, the big trend or two that we're looking for to, to come out of these shows? Well, still, the shows are starting just tomorrow. So, uh, right now, um, retailers are expecting to see a lot of bright colors, a lot of corals and apricots and peaches, and sort of bohemian, vagabond spirit, and just everything to probably to forget about the recession and, you know, dream about faraway lands. And, um, of course, the big thing this year is that the uh, Fashion Week is, has moved to the Lincoln Center after 17 years at the Bryant and, Park. And there was a little bit of controversy about there, wasn't it, about the move. Tell us why they moved to Lincoln Center. Well, you know, it was a bigger space for them. You know, they, they, the Damrush Park has uh, allowed them to have um, a lot more new space. They have an extra venue yeah. and uh, a lot of new technology. And, and so, you know, they, they, they're really excited about it. You know, they have uh, a lot more capacity, longer runways, wider runways. And so, uh, You mentioned the recession. What's the thinking as they go into Fashion Week? A lot of people don't have a lot of disposable income. Well, How I was going to say, what's, what's ironic about that is it's the biggest Fashion Week exactly. ever. I mean, so which seems strange given the economic environment. Yeah, it's, it, it's really strange. And, and I think maybe just designers are trying um, to go all out and to attract the consumer. And uh, I think people, um, from analysts, what I hear is that people are a little bit more open to spending, but not frivolously, just very specifically looking for that one piece, maybe looking at fashion as an investment, you know, maybe looking for something really amazing that they don't have in their closets anymore, not the basics. But then they're thinking because of that, maybe people might splurge a little bit because it's something they have to have? Exactly. And, and uh, even if it's a little bit pricey, they're thinking, yeah. okay, it's going to last us for another 10 years. Maybe it's going to be a bag, a pair of shoes. But really, people are thinking very much about doubling and, and multi-purpose uh, clothes and, and accessories, something they can wear during the day, but then also at night, out, on the weekend, during, you know, something that they can get a lot bang for their buck, mm -hmm. you know, in a sense. Okay, wow. Katya, thanks a lot for uh, previewing that so for much. us. We'll see uh, what we get out of the shows over the next week or so. Wow, always a, a big event here in New York City. I know you much, watch it very closely. A much bigger venue. <laughs> hey, Katya, thanks so much.